Hey guys, I'm Andrew Bennett with Trekker Trailers, your tiny, tiny house guy. And I want to show you this really cool model we just built for a young lady. Um, I've always wanted to do one in a 1950s retro theme, and I finally got to. You're going to love it. Most of that cool stuff's on the inside, but I'm going to show you the outside first. Um, you can see we did some cedar shapes on this. I hadn't done that before in one. Just little accents. Um, come on around and check this out. This is a really cool feature here. We've done a lot of those little um, roofs over the door. But we've done just a flat, kind of one-dimensional thing. This one we wanted to add some character, but it also had to be removable. So that's the whole thing. One person can take it off. It's just got some wing nuts. You don't even need any tools. It works really great. We've had it off and on a bunch of times already. Um, obviously, it comes off for travel. Um, you can see we did our our board and batten look here, and then kind of jazz it up a little bit with this stucco finish board on the bottom. This hardy board. And uh, just so you have it in the video, I want you to see the other two sides. We did some accents back here, the same. Um, and on the back, we just did our basic plain painted. Uh, did a little bit of a, just a darker gray to trim it out a little bit at the bottom, but it worked out really cool. Um, the really cool stuff is inside. You got to see this. All right, in here where it's nice and cool, got the air on. And uh, check out these colors and all this style. Um, here's our kitchen. So we have our, I don't know if you can see it, if you can back up far and see us, but our little retro fridge here. And this was kind of one of the uh, centerpieces the customer wanted to have in here. She picked that out and sent it. Um, then we went with the 1950s kind of theme with the trim around the countertops and shelves. A uh, little stainless backsplash. And we did this kind of cool old fashioned looking gas stove. It's a 20 inch so it doesn't take up a whole lot of room, but she still has a full functioning stove and oven. So that was really cool. I liked that one a lot. Um, since you're pointing this way, let's go in the bathroom. So the bathroom has kind of the same feel to it. Um, we just did a, a cloth curtain here because I think she wants her cat to be able to get in and have the litter box set up. But either way, also doors would kind of impede the uh, entrance here. So we had, did some cool shelves in here to kind of match the theme. And uh, come on here, come on all the way in, I'll show you the uh, shower. So the shower, we still went with the uh, Galvalum walls in here. The customers I've done this for before, that have had them for a while, say that they don't even ever have to wash them. They just, nothing sticks to them. No soap scum or anything, they're really working out well. Um, and it's durable, it's cost effective, and it looks cool, I think. Check out over here. Here's the uh, closet in the bathroom. We got some nice big closet storage space. The uh, water heater is underneath here. We went with a tanked electric water heater. Um, let's see if we can figure out how to get out of here. There we go. I'll go first. I'll get my bold spot. <laughs> okay, so this is also a really cool feature. This table can fold down and just slide right. It's got a place that goes in there. Um, but also these steps come out. Um, and there's a drawer. The steps come out for access in the bed, which we didn't want to go two story on this one, so we did a uh, uh, kind of a half loft. Yeah, it was like halfway up. But because it lifts up on gas shocks, it gives uh, access to the couch area. But it's really cool. I mean, this works out so awesome. And she can just walk right up here, get in bed. It works really, really well. You can lift it back up. And then this, this is cool too. You got to use every inch of space, so there's some extra storage there. And uh, when you're not using this, you can just slide it up back out of the way. No problems there. And this one step here is the right height for a seat. So you can sit at the table, um, have a guest there, even another one on the end if she wanted to. Uh, speaking of guests, here's another cool thing here too. I'm not going to open it up for the video, but this couch is a custom couch. It actually opens up into another full-size bed. So she can sleep her mom and dad coming over to visit. They've got a place to stay. And uh, back in here, we've got some, you know, just bookshelves and whatnot. Her TV is placed right there, so she can sit on the couch easily and watch TV. 32-inch flat screen and all her stuff there. Uh, yeah, this is a really cool house. Ooh, check out the chandelier. She picked that out and brought it over for us to put in. Thought it was a really nice, elegant touch. So, that's it. I'm Andrew Bennett, Tiny Tiny House Guy. Thanks for checking us out. I love this thing. Uh, let us know what we can do for you. Have a good one.